So what was your first reaction when you saw all this? Not good. <laughs> it's not a good sign. But... Not a good sign. Not pretty either. This mystery blob covering some Cape Coral canals. And a lot of you are asking, what the heck is it? Where did it come from? And how can we get rid of it? Four in your corner, Stephanie Tinoco, rather, spending the day working to get you those answers. Stephanie? Patrick, take a look at this stuff. I spent the day talking to people in Cape Coral who have this nasty green gunk in their backyard. It looks bad, it smells bad, and they want to know when will it be gone. It's green, it's slimy, and it's all over some of Cape Coral's canals, crushing hopes and dreams of local fishermen. Haha, <laughs> look at this, the catch of the day. A catch that remains a mystery for Cape Coral residents like Joe Mazzocchi. It's like there's a cap over it. It's taking some of the oxygen away for the fish, that's for sure. They're not down this end, they're down the other end. Not attractive for the fish or the fishermen. I didn't get one bite all morning. This mystery moss is covering a couple hundred yards. Now, if you take a look behind me, this is the moss itself. I'm going to go ahead and pick one up. Ugh. Okay, it is green, it's a little slimy, and the consistency is almost like a sponge. But experts tell me it's nothing to be worried about. But I wanted to be completely sure, so I took a sample to the city to check it out. So one of the gentlemen gave me a souvenir, and this is what he caught. That's true, that weed. It's a, it's a small amount of that weed, but it's, it's definitely that weed. A weed, not algae. The answer to the mystery and what experts say grows when salt content of water drops because of heavy rain. A harmless plant anyone who lives on canals should expect to see every year. It's not going to cause any adverse impacts to the canals or to people. It really doesn't uh, do anything harmful. It makes the canal look kind of ugly and it certainly can turn the canal green looking. The city tells me you should expect the duckweeds to die off toward the end of October. Again, once the rainy season eases up a little bit. But if it gets out of control, you can call the Lee County Hyacinth Control Center and they will schedule a time to come out and look at treating the weeds. You can find that number on our website. Live in the studio, Stephanie Tinoco, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you so much, Stephanie. And if you've got a problem, you want Stephanie or another one of our troubleshooters to investigate, all you have to do is call us, 239-206-FOX4 or email news at fox